Hi, I'm Andy from Roland. Today we're going to have a look through the Roland FA series of keyboards. So the FAs are fantastic keyboards for use in both the studio and as a live performance tool. There's three different models in the range, the FA06, the FA07 and the FA08. Aside from the key configuration, they're all internally the same, so today we're going to focus on the FA08, but then we might talk about the different key options that are available at the end. In front of me here we have the FA08. Out of the box, the FA08 comes fitted with around 2,000 sounds. An awful lot of these are taken from our Integra 7 sound module, so they're powered by our Supernatural technology. What that is is a combination of sampling and modeling to sort of fill in the gaps that sampling can't cover, so it means that you get really, really realistic sounds, particularly with acoustic instruments and great synthesizer sounds as well. So we're going to have a quick look at a few examples. The first sound I'm going to look at is a piano sound, which again is one of the supernatural ones, so it's a combination of sampling and modeling together. We also have some great electric pianos in there. So this is one that's based on a Fender Road. Another type of sound that we have in here is guitar sounds. So this sound we're going to look at now is an acoustic guitar sound. For acoustic guitar players, if they were to play two notes in quick succession, they might hammer on to the notes on the fret. So it doesn't quite sound the same as if they were playing two notes individually. But because this sound is powered by the supernatural technology, it also models the behavior of a, of a guitar player. So it will replicate that feeling as well. So I'll give you an example here. So if we had two notes that I just played separately, but if I hammer on between the two of them quickly, you'll get a, a, a glide between because it recognizes that I am uh, inputting those notes in that way, so it responds in the same way that a guitar player would. But it gives you a really nice realistic sound. We also have some great string sounds into it. Again, because it's using that supernatural technology, it's not just a sample of a string section, but it's also modeling the string sound, so you have a really good sort of bowing technique in there as well. We'll have a quick example of that one. What's also great about the FA series is they also feature a supernatural synth engine, which is a really, really powerful and flexible tool for creating synth sounds. Um, you are able to layer up to three oscillators together and completely detune, filter each of them, and apply envelopes to your heart's desires, which is great. It gives you some really, really realistic uh, sounds as well. So this is a synth strings patch that we can look at. And as you heard there, we also have some real-time control, so I'm able to tweak the cutoff, the resonance, the attack and the release in real time as well, which is great. So as well as the acoustic instruments and the synthesizer section, we also have loads of really great drum sounds. These are again powered by the Supernatural technology. One thing that's great about Supernatural when it comes to drums is that you're not just listening to static samples over and over again. They are using that modeling technology in there to give a bit more variety of the sound. Sometimes when you're just listening to samples over and over again, it can become quite sort of boring and a bit tiring, and they can sound a little bit artificial. 
But what's nice about the supernatural technology is that fills in the gaps and it gives us more of a realistic sound. So we'll have a listen to a little pattern. So we can play the sounds ourselves. Or for each of the sounds, there's also a preview button. So if you wanted to hear what a sound sounds like without playing it yourself, you can just hit the preview button. I'll do that for the drums here. So another great thing about the FA series of keyboards is that you can split and layer up to 16 sounds at once, which can be really powerful in a live situation. Uh, and it's really, really easy and quick to do this as well. If you push both buttons together, it selects what we call a studio set, which is a collection of up to 16 sounds that you can use together. So on the screen, you can see now we're in our studio set. We have a few different sounds kind of already selected, but we'll just show you how to make a quick layer. So on the top here, you can see I've got a, a, a grand piano and also this metal pad. And both of these are being used by the keyboard because we have got a yellow switch next to them, which we've ticked. And that being, means both sounds are being used at once. Uh, below each one, we can specify the key range. And I've already set it up so that they finish at C4. So at the moment, if I play below middle C, we don't get anything. If I wanted to add a third sound to this, so I go to my third sound, I tick the little yellow box. So that means all three keyboards and all three sounds, sorry, are being controlled by the keyboard. I go over to the sound, and if I want to make this a bass, I uh, can press bass. If I want to see them as a list, I press enter. I've got uh, some acoustic basses in here. I could go over to an electric bass, so we'll choose that first one that says finger bass one. Press enter. That sound is now loaded. If I wanted to make sure that this doesn't play though in the right hand side, I need to specify the key range that works on. But again, that's really easy to do. So I go down across to the key range and I just pull this back. Back to B3, which is the note below it. So now I have a sound where I have a bass in the left hand side, which goes up to middle C. And then from middle C onwards, I have piano and this pad together. So which finishes at the B. And from C onwards, we have our piano and pad sound together. And you can obviously expand upon, the, uh, expand upon this to have about 16 sounds together and then save these as your user sounds or user studio sets even, so that in a live situation, you can recall them quickly and cover a lot of ground without changing patches. The last thing that I wanted to look at with the FA is the sampler. So the FA has a really, really good sampler that's based on the SP404. And the samples are saved within a song and you can have 64 loaded at the same time with a polyphony of four. So you can play four samples at once. But they're dead easy to make and we'll make some now. So I press the sampling button, it flashes. So I choose which one that I want to make. So if I press number one, and now we're sampling onto pad number one. I can choose if I wanted to sample from the keyboard and an external input, or it could be just from the keyboard or from an external input. So it could be from your phone or from a microphone or whatever you want. But I will just go from the keyboard and we're just gonna sample some of the inbuilt drums just quickly. If I press auto trigger, it'll start sampling as soon as I play a key. So I'm just gonna hit a kick drum. So now I can press preview and we have our kick drum sample. I'm also just gonna take off a, the gate because this cuts off the sound if you're not holding the pad down, which I don't want, so I'm just gonna turn that off. And that's all it is to make a sample, so we're just gonna quickly do that again for a snare. So pad number two, auto trigger again, hit snare. 
press stop. Can preview that again. Again, I want to make sure that the gate is off so that it allows the sample to ring out. And then we'll do one last one of a hi hat. So, number three, auto trigger. And lastly, take the gate off. So now I have my three samples. So you can see that we have samples saved on it because they're lighting up in red. And now I can play these. Uh, I could play these in the middle of a performance if I wanted to. But because you can record literally anything, they could be sound effects, they could be a little bit of a sample of a record or anything you want to do just as a way of enhancing your performance. And what's also really cool is you can sequence these within the sequencer. So in your song, again, if you have a little vocal a cappella or something that you want to bring in, you can sample that and trigger it in the track. So that's really, really cool as well. Thanks again for joining us through this quick tour of the Roland FA series of keyboards. As I mentioned earlier on, there are three models in the series, the FA06, the FA07, and the FA08. All three keyboards feature the same great sound engine, the same sequencer, the same sampler. It's just the key, uh, key configuration that differs between the three different models. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you again next time.